You know, you hooked a monster cobia. We caught him. I, I told him, I said, I'd really, really like to catch him. A, you know, a nice, respectable triple tail. Yes, he knows oh. he's hooked down, baby. Yeah! <laughs> oh, and don't forget. Sim Rads into the blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Roger. Captain Kevin Beach, he was uh, he was our guide for the day, and we called him. We said, "Listen, man, I know it's it's late. You know, we'd already had breakfast. We already said it's too windy, and we were we were like we want to go out there. Let's just do whatever. Let's just get off the dock. Let's go." Staying in our hotel room was not an option for us. Right, and no so way. and he he said, "Well, listen," he says, "I think we could probably get out there, catch a few cobias if we get lucky, and um, you know who knows, maybe try some other stuff." And and and. So he was able to get us out on the water, and, and ultimately that's what it's about. It's just trying to get out there and target something, you know? Yeah, well, well luckily in Venice we have options. Now, Kevin told us it's early for cobias, but you know what? We got a 39 yellowfin, we got, uh, there's a tower on it. What's it take? We just got to put a couple of two ounce bucktails together or uh, curly tail jigs and, and start chucking them at a few rigs. And he had rigs that were in the lee of the delta, so it was, it wasn't as horrible out there, but we were in a big boat, so you know weather didn't become an issue for that. Ah, oh, you got some 30s and 40s. You got a couple of real good ones in that 50, 60 pound range. And every once in a while, you get one of those little dinky dinks like we caught yesterday. I got you. Are they in season yet? <laughs> hey, Cat, why are you always gonna take us where there's a bee all this <laughs> noise, Cap? That's why I bring you to these, because no one else is dumb enough to fish them. No one else wants to deal with it. Listen to that stuff, huh? Should we be working the bottom, the middle, the top? Fast, slow? Hey, you're gonna, you're gonna, oh, oh, is that him? There he is. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Ah. it was the beep. <laughs> it was all the beep, and look. What is that beep? That beep is all all the platforms that are out here that are unmanned. They have oh, to yeah. have lights and whistles on it for in the fog and at night time to let other vessels know that it's here. So that's all it is. It means it's unmanned. When they come in to go check the valves, you know, and all the fittings, yeah. uh, they, wear they, get up, they disable it. They wear the headphones or what? No, they just go up there and they can disable it oh, okay, when sure. they do their job before they leave. Yeah. The very last thing they do <laughs> is turn it back on. Hey, what's that disable button look like? <laughs> it's the green button. Go up there. Yep. Just jump. Just bounce, bang to bang to bang to bang. 15 minutes, gone. Get, you'll know if they're here. Kind of used to looking for manta rays, the southern rays. Yeah. In this dirty water, I don't think you'd see them anyway. Yeah. He's right here. Looks like you could have Kobe or two on the outside of the actual snapper, the red snapper. And they're gonna be hanging out. That's probably our guy right there. I'm still looking at that rubber. I think the current must be going the other way. See what happens when you actually fish there, Scott? That's the right one, buddy. I got the right one. There you go, let me turn this. Or a mackerel. Coming up. Hello! Oh, oh, Captain, you better keep going that way. Uh oh, he's gonna use the structure on you. Do I have to get the net out, Steve? Nice King Mac, boy. And you said you don't know how to catch King Mac. Come on. Get the net, boy. Mac attack. Let me get below you. Swim him right in. There you go. 
Good work, good work. Save your jig, save your jig. Coming up. A little sun and light on our that, situation. That net's so big, it make that mackerel look little. That's a nice mackerel, and we'll let him go. Just a minute. Hurry up before he gets more blood on me. <laughs> we were looking for a cobia. First strike is King Mac. Next. Next. There we go. There you go. You got shrimping? <laughs> you better tell me where there's some big shrimp for that net. <laughs> hey, Steve. What up? <laughs> Sim Rants Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Bubba Blade, the ultimate sportsman's knife. Key West, close to perfect, far from normal. And by Seaguar, Under Armour, and Tailwalker Charters. How deep, Cap? Deep one. Here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I got a feeling it's gonna happen. I'm ready for one to come out of the shadows, pounce on me. The five friends. <laughs> five of his closest acquaintances. Oh, what? what? Where is he? He's all right right now. Right on the bottom. Mm. That might be him. Mm. Good. He's making the noises again, Kevin. Yeah, buddy. I think it's a big old red. Mm. Had to send him CrossFit or something mm. before next time fishing Venice. It's That's coming up, a... though. Come on, you big cobia. That's an elite club. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Yes. Get the net! <laughs> you like that net. Oh! He's gonna fill her up! I'll tell you what, you get. You know, I've told you, 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 if you net a cobia, he'll lay there like a lamb. Really? That's what I've been told. Uh, slow down, slow there down. he is! Oh, he's got one with him. There he is. Just let me see. Oh. oh, it's a big one. I'll call him up here. Come on, come on. All right, they're swimming together. Come on, Steve, double up. He didn't run for it. I'm gonna bring him back to you, Kevin. One per customer in the Keys, crew not included. Oh, yeah. There it is. Woo! <laughs> He's laying like a lamb, isn't he? Yeah, buddy. I'm <laughs> gonna help you, grab the net. No. Got it coming up right here. Whew. Oh, yeah. Hook's free, hook's free. Yep. Man, he like a ton of bricks. A ton. Was that a body slam? That was a body slam. Woo! That's there a good go. one. See, let's do it again, buddy. All right, put him nice. Put him on ice. catch me one. I know where we're going. Right back to the rig. Go see if you. If it'll pounce again. Fishing in Florida Keys in the winter, and especially in the spring, we had a great migration of cobias. And that being said, cobias, if you've ever caught one, are the hardest fish to actually get into the boat. Not hooked up or caught, but long boat side to into the coolers, that's the toughest moment. Especially with regulations where you can only be 32 inches, there's a lot of fish that are right on the edge. So you don't want to gaff it and it be too short. You don't want to lift it in the boat and pop off in case it's a keeper. So what do you do? We started netting them. And Frabel has created a net which for me saves everything. I don't like to keep a net on the boat because I can't store them. So they made a, a net for me and for you that totally folds and is easy to store. But yet when it's put together, it can easily lift a 100 pound fish into the boat. All right, but once it's put together, it's eight feet long. You can easily scoop a fish up to 100 pounds, depending on the size of the net. This one can easily handle a fish over 50. 
And then again, once you get the fish into the net, we found that the cobias actually calm down versus trying to stick a gaff in one. Now you can easily dip net him, but then when he's in the boat, you can measure him. If he's too short, it's easy to let him go unharmed for the next season, or if he's actually legal, put him on ice and then get that cooler lid shut quick. For more tips or step-by-step -step instructions, check out IntoBlue.tv. Simrad's Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, is brought to you in part by Yeti Coolers, built for the wild. Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Plano, Shimano, and Spear One Charters. A couple jigs, a yep. couple grub tails, yeah, a couple dozen shrimp. Put the live shrimp on a boat, we took off. We started prospecting. Just started popping from, from, from rig to rig. Jigging. You were taking the lead with the green tail. Yeah, but you pulled it off. I mean, ultimately, you know, you hooked a monster cobia. We caught him. There was a second one there with him. I tried to get him, but he wouldn't eat. Yeah. And we we're hoping that we would see the cobias laid up on the surface, 15, 20, you know, perfect scenario. But, you know, Kevin said, hey, we got to work the whole water column. They're not, you know, it's early. The wind, when this wind comes, the temperature doesn't have to change, but the fish just start to show up. So he hadn't started really cobia fishing this season yet. Yeah. Right now, if it's slick, calm day, your boat's just running, just putting those cobias down. Yes, sir. You have what, bay boats, big boats, little boats. I mean, as good a table fare as Kobe is. And they take, a, they take a beating everywhere. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, you can't. Oh, red all white. about the redheads. Oh, I slowed that one way down, Stevie. Just stopped it on the bottom. Slow it way, way down so I can get his buddy. Okay. It's not as big as that one we saw. Come on up to the top, baby. Easy. Yep, it's the yep. man. Oh, what a good fish. By himself or what? By himself. All right. Yeah, I don't think the bait net's gonna work on that one. I slowed boss. down on all that. Right here he comes, Steve. All right, cool, buddy. Bring him up here. Uh, lift him in the water, looking for a second one. He now he's got his second breath. Uh. Oh, look at the head on that thing. That is a good one there, boss. Come on. You know, once we get him in the net, he's going to lay there just like a baby lamb. Uh-huh, you said that last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a second breath on him now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, we saw the net. Under the gill. He's in the gill plate. Yeah. Light leader. Come on, get him. Come and scoop him. Chase him around that butterfly net. Bring him back over here. You gotta have seven foot arms to net something off that place. Oh, yeah, I'm all in the gill plate. That's Good awesome. thing. He's got a soft one, though. Nice and light drag, huh? Nice and light. Pressing right into here. Nice and easy. Nice Come and on, easy. Stevie, help me. Oh! I'm coming around, I'm coming around, I'm coming around one more time. He's on this side. He is not happy. He's unwrapped. Not happy. Look at how violently he shakes his head. Nice and light drag, nice and light drag. Everything's tougher when it's windy, isn't it? <clears throat> Makes everything <laughs> tougher. You don't want Be quick to do with it. it. You don't want All nothing. right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> here he is. Oh. Don't grab the gaff, don't grab the gaff. He's seen the net before. <laughs> he saw his buddy. Come on. Yep. You got to tire him out. Tail him. You got to tire him down. All right. All right, here we go. Coming around, last time. The hook's gonna pop out. Oh! -ho -ho. Swim, baby, swim. There. Now you swim into it. Get in there. there he is. He tried to back out. <laughs> he hit reverse. He put it in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> he did, I tell you. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, yeah. Good job, buddy. Okay. He did not want to go in the net, but he's in there now. He's being quiet as a lamb. Look at him. Nice fish. Woo! The box open, Captain. I'm gonna raise it in one second. All right, go ice him up. Now, if you're gonna cook it, my favorite way of all, super simple, it's blackened. I'm just gonna take the, this nice shoulder piece and cut it about three quarters of an inch thick all the way through. All right, 
You don't want to do this before you freeze. You want to do this after you thaw it back out. But now you got these beautiful thick steaks. You're just going to take them and dust them in your favorite blackening seasoning. Get a blackening skillet to 500 degrees. Throw on a pat of butter and drop these right onto the sizzling butter. One minute. Flip them over. You're going to see the oil and the fish start to cook through. It's going to start turning white at center and then it's going to spread. The oil is going to shoot the heat through it super fast. So you start to see that happening, it's done. Take it off and set it three pieces on a beautiful Caesar salad. Serve it. If nothing's better. For any more recipes, go to intheblue.tv. There he is right there, Butter Lily. Butter I Lily. think he's see on him? Steve's bait. I'm not going to cast. He's right on the bow. He's got to be eating Steve's bait. Get in his mouth. Oh. Sim Rats Into the Blue, presented by Yellowfin, has been brought to you in part by Simrad, go with confidence. Mercury Marine, number one on the water. And by Costa and Ameritrail. That worked out really good. We caught a couple really nice ones. After a while, that wind caught up to us again. You know, even though we took a late start, we had it a kept, big boat. It kept building and yeah. building and building. And, and then, you know, I'm like, all right, what else? And, you know, we had talked about, I told him, I said, I'd really, really like to catch an, a, you know, a nice, respectable triple tail. Um, and he said, okay, you know, he said, we got that tower on that boat. He didn't even question you when you talked about uh, triple tails. I guess you guys had seen someone you're throwing in that pogey fish. I never saw him. And, you, you know, over the course of the day, you guys were talking about a lot. I mean, you guys put a game plan together while we were cobia fishing. Yeah. Well, there's two there's two ways to catch them out down here from what, what the guys are telling me. You can either go to some of these gas heads, but what I wanted to do is I wanted to sight fish for that triple tail. I mean, I wanted to specifically you to go target. style in Venice. Yeah. I wanted to <laughs> specifically target that thing, and that's what we did. We put you and, and Beach up in the tower, yeah. and we just cruised around real slow. What? We got Eagle eye. He's your, your casting. You found him. Where is he now? You still see it's him? 12 o'clock. Now he's at 11. 40 feet. To your left, to your left. Yep, yep, yep. Just keep looking right there. He, he's going to be getting on that lily pad pretty darn quick. Where do you think, Kev? Where'd he go? There he is right there by the lily. By the lily. See him? I think what? he's on Steve's bait. I'm not going to cast. He's right on the bow. He's got to be eating Steve's bait. It's in his mouth. Oh, he let oh, it go. Oh, yeah, it's in his mouth. Oh, he's eating it. Oh, he's eating it. <laughs> get him, get him. Oh, he's... Come on, baby. Yep. There he is. He knows oh. he's right there, ah. baby. Yeah. <laughs> Good down. eye, Steve. Oh, Jumper, baby. Eye. <laughs> <laughs> that is the real deal there. Yes, sir. Woo. Oh no, he spit it! Oh! What? You gonna eat again? I'll scoop Damn. him up. <laughs> nice! <laughs> he saw it. Right? He's in panic mode. Yeah, here's the hook, you got him. Another big one, giant one right Coming there. At you. Here comes a rod. Here you go. Okay, you're good. That's a good one right there. Work it, work it, work it. Oh, right on his head. Right on his head. Come I on. just lost sight of him. Be tight, be tight, be tight. Come on, your line speed up. I don't know, man. I think he got a little spookity, spookity. Hey, yeah, man. Right on the head, Stevie. That was a great cast. See if he comes back up on the back side. There was a pair of them there, you know? Yeah. There he is right there. About 30 yards. I don't see him, but. We'll come around for you, Stevie. You see him? Yeah, yeah, I see him right there. He's on him. He's on it. Oh, oh, oh. Eat it. He's, eat it. He's sniffing it. Come on, come on, come oh, on. Oh, he's holding on to it, Stevie. He's rolling. Oh. Does he have it? I don't know. He's either holding it or smelling it. One of the two. <laughs> I don't see your shrimp anymore. I don't see your shrimp. <laughs> oh, there you go! Oh! I love it when a plan comes together. Awesome, dude. <laughs> that is a triple tail there, Walker. That's a good one. <laughs> we, that's, hey. that's sweet, buddy. It's blowing 30. And I don't want to be anywhere else but right here. 
sight fishing in dirty green water and making it happen. Sight fishing for the that big was a perfect cast, man. Cookie monster. Oh yeah, that is officially my biggest <laughs> triple tail. <laughs> hey, we growing bigger than that. I know. That's I'm a excited. Good one. Come on, one of those prehistoric monsters. Little 30 pound leader, little little flounder hook. Captain, Woo! Captain spotted that one. Oh yeah, he put you right on that. Woo, he there he is. Everything ready to go. Oh there yeah. There he is. That is a nice triple tail. Oh, good work, Stevie. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Man, what a cool looking fish. Pretty, man. That's a dinosaur. You got him now. <laughs> it's all yours. Nice job, guys. Good eye, Kev. Good eye. This is a dinosaur, man. Such a cool fish. <laughs> They call them a triple tail because they got these, you know, these couple of caudal fins that look like a tail, you know, extra tail. Yeah. One, two, three. Really cool fish. Good eating. Prehistoric looking, huh? All right, get him on ice. Woo. Let's go catch a couple more. Ooh. I'll tell you something, my kids and I, <laughs> we could have done that all day long, man. That was a cool thing. Yeah, really it cool. becomes a contest. Who's going to find it first? Yeah. We slayed the dragon, you know? <laughs> we slayed the dragon and we came yeah. in. And then, you now know, I'm we're trying to catch that Kobe and you had uh, something else on your mind and you and Kevin put it together I think and it, you made it work. Now we got to come up with something else because if it keeps blowing, we're going to be fishing in here. <laughs> I think there's something in there that we yeah. can catch. Some kind of sea creature. <laughs>